everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Fantastic Take and Makes with the Rapid City Public Library. My name's Allie, and today we're going to be celebrating spring by creating some spring umbrellas, hoping for that rain so that we can all have a beautiful green summer. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what we have in our craft kits today. In your Take and Make kit, you should have an instruction booklet, a paper plate, a length of string, some glue dots, and 10 blue beads. Let's get started. Our first step is we're going to take our paper plate and we're going to cut it in half. So carefully using a pair of scissors, we're going to cut it in half with one half a little bit bigger than the other. Just like that. Great. Now we're gonna save this bottom smaller piece and with this top piece, we're going to cut a reverse scallop shape, so it's kind of like waves in here. And I'm just going to make four of them. And this will kind of make this look like an, an umbrella. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. So now we have our umbrella piece. And next what we're going to do is flip our umbrella over that top part and you're gonna take a black marker. You can take a Sharpie or any black marker you want. And we're going to use the black marker to draw several lines from the center top point of your umbrella to the points on the bottom. So we can start off by just drawing a black line all the way around it. It's okay if we get a little on the table, we can clean that up later. So all the way around, and then I'm gonna start from one and just go up to the middle. And again. Perfect. So now I've got my umbrella with its points on it. Next, you're gonna wanna take either paint or markers or crayons or colored pencils and color in your umbrella. You can decorate it however you like. So I have prepared this umbrella for myself. I've colored it in with colored pencils, blue and yellow. And now let's move on to the next step. We're actually gonna put these aside for now. And what we want to do next is take our length of string and we're gonna cut it into four strings. So we'll take it in half and cut it in half. And then we'll take those pieces in half again and we'll cut them in half. So now we have four pieces of equal length string. Next, what we're going to do is take your beads. Let's get them all out of the bag. And we're going to attach two beads to each string. So we'll just string the first one on like this. And kind of up towards the middle. And we'll just tie a knot to hold everything together. There we go. And then I'm going to do one towards the bottom as well. And the one on the bottom you want to tie in a double knot so that it really doesn't come off. All right. So now I've got my first row of, of beaded strings. I'm gonna do this with one, two, three more and I'll see you in just a moment. All right, now I've got my four beaded strands and so what we're gonna do next is take our umbrella, flip it over, and we're going to take our glue dots and we're going to put one glue dot at the end of each point. So 
I have three points. So I'm going to do one, two, three. And now we're just going to take our strands of string with beads on them and glue it to the back, the back. press it to the glue dots. And just press it to the glue dots. And I only have three points, so I'm only using three of my strands of beads. So this fourth one was just extra. And now we're not done back or with the back yet. We're going to now cut out just the outside rim of your bottom part of that paper plate, and that's gonna become the handle for your umbrella. So you can color this in and decorate it if you want. I'm not going to. But what we do next is take one more glue dot and just put it right on top of that center string. And we're going to take the curved paper plate and we're just gonna press it onto there for our handle. And now if you turn it around, we have a cute little umbrella with blue beads that represent the rain coming down. You can trim up your, your handle a little bit like I did if you want, that way it's a little bit shorter and looks more like a real umbrella. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me as we created our umbrellas out of paper plates today. Make sure to send a picture of your umbrella to the library. We would love to see your creations. And also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more crafts and updates from the Rapid City Public Library. We'll see you next time, guys. Have a great day. Bye.